everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. I'm back and I have got another Dollar Tree haul for you today. Um, I'm kind of doing this on a weekly basis now. I think you guys are expecting it and uh, I'm personally not hating it. So um, again, I went to two stores today and uh, I grabbed a lot of goodies and I actually just told a little fib. I didn't go to two stores today. I went to one store today and I went to the second store like two days ago. So combined, I have two receipts and two hauls. So that means I've got two receipts to scan into my Fetch Rewards app. If you are not familiar with Fetch Rewards, definitely check it out. I'll have a link in my profile below. All you literally do is scan your receipts into the app and you get points. And you can redeem those points for gift cards for places like Amazon and restaurants and other retailers and uh, they happen to love Dollar Tree receipts and they also love grocery store receipts. So that is a huge, huge plus. Um, I've, I've got a funky light situation here. So sorry if you can see the reflection in my uh, glasses there. I'm, I'm trying, trying to navigate around it, but it's not really working. Oh, I can just stay like this the whole time. Hey, before we get into the DIY, if you are uh, one of my OGs, one of my long-term subscribers, thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate you being here. And of course, I love your comments and everything. If you're brand new to the channel, yes, I do Dollar Tree hauls, I do Cricut, I do thrift flips, I do shopping hauls, I do thrift store hauls. I shop a lot and Fetch Rewards actually comes in really handy. And uh, I do unboxing, I do all kinds of stuff. So I try to keep the channel very uh, mixed and lots of fun. If you are brand new and uh, maybe YouTube recommended the video to you today, hopefully you'll stick around and enjoy it and uh, check out some of the other videos. All right, I am rambling enough, let's get into the haul. But before I do that, this is not my wallet that I lost. I actually bought a new wallet. This is the wallet that is the replacement and all of the cards in there are the replacement cards. So. No, unfortunately, I did not find my wallet, but I appreciate all of you guys asking and I wanted to just kind of provide that update out there. Okay, let's jump into the haul because I actually found some cool stuff. Um, that sign I'm pushing out of the way is not part of what I found. Um, I don't know why this is sitting here. Usually I would have put this in the kitchen, but catch up. I buy my condiments there. I like the condiments. Um, not sure if you guys have bought these chocolates or not, but since it is Valentine's Day, I thought it would be Fun to treat myself to some chocolates. And um, these are actually really good. I really do like these a lot. I got those there. Um, I was able to grab a good mix of stuff. Some new stuff, some utility stuff, some stuff for some ideas. So um, kind of bear with me because it's all kind of piled here on the desk. Um, check these out. Heavy duty dust mask, you know. We're doubling up a lot of places now. And um, I'm gonna use these to double up. I'm gonna put my mask on and I always wear my mask and take my hand sanitizer when I go out and shop and trying to be safe. Um, what else did I find? I thought this was really cute. This is a photo album and it holds like probably like five by sevens I would think. Four by six. Four by six photos but it's got a really cool kind of pattern to it. That light is really bothering me today. There's Otis. He's saying hi. Not sure if you just heard his little meow. Get off the tripod. Get off the tripod. You're gonna knock it over. Silly boy. I'll try and grab them and bring them up here. But uh, the photo album, they have these in a lot of really cute patterns and blue is my favorite color. And I love to put these and uh, actually, you know, print photos from our smartphones. And uh, I put them in these and I have a big dough bowl in my living room. And uh, I just pop these small little picture or photo albums in the dough bowl. And then when people come over, they can kind of look through the photos and stuff. And sometimes it's friends and stuff. It's, it's fun. It's a good way to um, just kind of entertain. Uh, I bought uh, quite a few of these because I've got a project that I'm going to be doing with these very, very soon. These are the easel back little chalkboards, but I'm going to be taking the easel backs off of these. So more to come there. I'm not going to tell you how many I bought. That way you don't know what I'm working on. Um, I talk about these every time I come on here and every time I buy them, but I buy these often. These are the bar mop cloths and they sell two different kinds of Dollar Tree. They sell a single pack and then they sell the two pack. So if you can get two for one, you might as well get them. These are the best dishcloths I have ever used. And I also keep some in my craft room and uh, use them to wipe away paint or to do stain with, and they wash up really, really nicely. So if you see the bar cloths, the two pack at your store, I highly recommend you buy these. Um, I love them. 
Um, I have not been able to find jute twine for the longest time. So uh, I found it in the hardware section and I went ahead and I bought two of those because I need some jute twine and that's the only twine I've been able to find. Um, I found some new signs. Uh, I thought that's really cute. I may do a DIY with that. I love the inside of it already, but I just didn't care for the outside here, but I may end up spray painting this and, and still using it like a picture frame. But again, thought it could be really cute. And then we've got um, this sign here that says wine a little. I thought that that was kind of cute as well. Wine a little, laugh a lot, and it's in the shape of a wine bottle here. I kind of thought this might be fun to fill up with corks or maybe even to put a cork board backing in there. So we'll see there. Um, I've got a St. Patrick's idea, St. Patrick's Day idea. So I found these foam, um, it's a 12 pack, I think. I think that's what that says, yeah. And they're um, just foam shamrocks. It looks like there's kind of a lighter green and a darker green. So um, about four packages of those. Um, what else do I have? Some wood grain contact paper. You've seen this around. Um, the last project I did with the Dollar Tree wooden love sign, I was gonna originally put this contact paper down, but when I went to the store the first time, they were out of this. Then I had to end up using the black and white floral with the succulents, and I think it worked out good. But I originally wanted to do this color with a different color love sign. So now, of course, I find it. Um, I have this another chalkboard. I got this for my kitchen. I'm not DIYing this. I'm just using it in the kitchen. It is a scoop strainer. And uh, these are great when you're chopping up things and you're scooping stuff off the cutting board. And um, I mean, I guess I could DIY with it. I have this wooden heart that I also grabbed. And uh, when I dumped everything out in the bag, it kind of landed like that. And for like a quick minute, I was like, ooh, I could do. But uh, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna use them as they are. Uh, I bought some of these Dollar Tree fence pieces. Not sure if you've seen these. They have these and then they have the kind that have the pickets. And uh, I think I have an outdoor idea for these. So more to come there. Um, I bought a two pack of these Hot Wheels racetracks. I'll be very honest, part of me wants to just put these together and like make a racetrack for my cars because I still do have some cars. <laughs> but um, that's not what they're coming for. They're actually going to be for a DIY idea. I just have to see if I can engineer it to uh, stay together or not. That's why I bought two packages, because if I tear one up, then maybe I could try a second time. So, more to come there. Um, I found, oops, get ready to fall off. I found some clay. And this is not the air dry clay that they are selling at Dollar Tree now. There's a like a block of it that's kind of like a small rectangle that um, they are selling. But this is all colored clay. And I, I did actually think that this could be fun. And um, maybe I'll try and make my own Mr. Otis or something like that with it. But uh, again, I thought that that was kind of cool and something that I hadn't seen yet. Um, I also grabbed, I want to save those. They had these packages of glitter. So they had this purple one, they had this green one, and they had this blue one. They didn't have any red or silver or gold, but um, these are a lot better than those little baggies of the glitter, you know? And uh, they don't get all over the place, which is great. Um, the other thing I found were more of these wood blocks. So I did grab some more of these. I made my dice with these just recently, and um, I snagged more of those when I was out. I love Butter Rum Lifesavers, so I always get these. <laughs> you don't always see them, but I always get them. Um, this was something that I thought was kind of cute. They're hot, cold eye patches, but they're in the shape of hearts. And they've got the glittery gold in there. I thought they could be fun. I may use them. I may end up giving them to a friend of mine. I'm, I'm not really sure yet. Um, but again, I love those things. I have some that look like cucumber slices, actually, that um, I have used when I have like a, a migraine or something, and um, it does help. Uh, what else did I get? I'm trying to save some stuff. Oh, this is cute. It's a uh, it's a little needle point set, and uh, they had it in all the alphabets, 
And uh, I grabbed an M for my last name. And uh, again, thought that that was super cute. Those are the different letters that they seem to have. And um, I, again, I thought it was really cute. It's a uh, cross stitch. Did I call it the right thing? It's a cross stitch set is what it is. And uh, again, super cute. Otis, leave the light alone, buddy. I love you, but leave the light alone. It's trying to play with the cord. 100% um, cotton bandanas. I love the 100% cotton bandanas. Um, I will wear these on my head when uh, it's sunny out or if I'm working out in the yard so my hair doesn't get in my face. And then also some of these I will use over like a, a COVID mask. So again, thought that they were cute. Anytime I can find the ones that are 100% cotton, I definitely grab those because um, they do make a difference. Uh, two of these wood circles because these are part of a DIY that's coming up that's going to involve those racetracks that I told you about. And that's if it comes together. So fingers crossed there. They're the cutest tote bags. And uh, they had a baby Yoda one that I didn't get, but then they also had this one, which I thought was super cute. And um, it's kind of got a little farmhouse thing on the front of it, which is adorable. And I thought honestly that I would just use it for when I go to the market, but um, to like a farmer's market. But then again, I could also make something into it very easily if I wanted to. So that was super cute. Um, they are starting to get uh, cardstock and vinyl in for Cricut machines. And it's the same size as like the cutting mats and stuff. And um, they had this cardstock, it's three sheets and it's black. And then they had this set, which was three sheets and it's uh, a, a metal teak. So it's kind of like a, a silvery, a gold and kind of like a bronzy. And um, that's kind of the colors of them there. And uh, you know, why not? If, um, if I'm not doing a official Cricut video then I can certainly use those. And um, let's see. I always buy these wooden skewers or these uh, dowel rods rather, because these are always good to have on hand. I have another project idea that I'm working on now. Um, I found, I, I should say I bought more of these carrots because I have a DIY idea for these. So these are coming out soon. And then I also grabbed these emergency candle sets because again, these are amazing. And uh, they're fun for a lot of different projects. And then um, I was able to grab some magnets. Um, I have an idea with these magnets that I'm gonna use on, a, uh, on my refrigerator. So uh, more to come there. And then I found the coolest things. Now, these are lids that go on top of mason jars. And so like this one, has the hanger kit already attached to it. So all you have to do is attach your mason jar and you've got a great little hanger. Like how cute will those be out around the patio or out on the deck for the spring? Super, super cute. And so I bought two of those in black and then they had this one, which I really liked. And I really liked it too because it was a two pack instead of a one pack. So I got two for a dollar and check that out. See the screen that's in there? At first I was like, oh, I could do, um, you know, decorative flowers, which is what they show you there at the top. That screen, you know, you put a flower or stem in between each one and it kind of helps spread your arrangement out. It's, it's brilliant, really. But also what I liked about them is that I thought I could also put my paintbrushes in it. So if I attach this to a, uh, a jar, a mason jar, and then had my used paintbrushes and put them in there, it would help keep the paintbrushes upright and keep them in the in the liquid, in the water, or in the cleaning solution. So that was cool. And then uh, I bought two of these. I know you guys have seen these a bunch. I probably didn't even, excuse me, need to buy two of these because I'm sure I have some now in my stash. But um, I wanted to make sure, because I don't always remember what I have in my stash. And I would get home and then think, oh yeah, I didn't have those. So anywho, that is my haul for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I think I spent probably about, I think it was about probably $60 combined between the two stores. And I did get a few food items that are that you didn't see here. But um, again, I'm gonna scan both of those receipts into Fetch Rewards and build up to my next Amazon gift card. So if you want to check out Fetch Rewards, 
there's a link below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. I'm working on another DIY project right now and I hope to have a video out in a couple days. All right, guys, bye.